All right, everyone, today we're going to do a quick video on how to find the slope in a different bunch of situations. Uh, first of all, let's take a look at the slope given two points. You have to find the slope by using the formula y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. First, let's locate what that means. The second y and the first y, we're going to subtract back, and we get 7 minus 10. And then, when the second x and the second uh, first x, you subtract 2, be careful with the double negative minus negative 3. And then simplify that and you get negative 3 over 5. That's it. All right, now if I give you an equation and I ask you to find the slope, you want to get the y by itself. So first of all, we need to get the 3y term by itself. The 7 is going to stay on the other side, but I'm going to move that 4x across. Notice that the sign changes when you move it across the equal sign. You have to isolate the y completely by dividing through by the coefficient. And then the slope is the coefficient of x and the y-intercept, which comes out of this, is just the constant term. We want to leave them in fraction form if it doesn't work out evenly. If I give you a graph, the line, you have to find two clean points on that line. And you can do this using rise and run. So I always say work from left to right. So let's go down from that point on the left and move right to the next one. And then you count. The rise in this case is negative 3, and the run is positive 4. If you have a table, this one you got to be a little more careful because you should check a couple of them. You check the gap between the x's, and it's the change in y over the change in x. And let's do another one just to be sure. Uh, between the 8 and 12, the y change is negative 6, and the x change is positive 4, which reduces to negative 3 over 2. So that's how you do it all. Hopefully you're going to be uh, comfortable doing this in all of the future questions.